I'm not sure this is what Revelate's designs had in mind, but if your dog's small enough, very efficient dog carrier. Huh. <laughs> there is poop everywhere. You want to go right around New Hampshire? Yeah. So far, we've gone a mile and had breakfast and pee. What'd you say? Climbing. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of climbing. The fall temp started to feel like summer temps again as soon as we got on this hill. What a to, day. I had to release the guns. What an amazing, yeah, look at that. On the night of September 19th and 20th in 1961, Portsmouth, New Hampshire couple Betty and Barney Hill experienced a close encounter with an unidentified flying object in two hours of lost time while driving south on Route 3 near Lincoln, which is where we are now. They filed an official Air Force Project Blue Book report of a brightly lit cigar-shaped craft the next day, but were not public with their story until it was leaked in the Boston Traveler in 1965. This was the first widely reported UFO abduction report in the United States. We've watched a lot of podcasts about, or listened to a lot of podcasts about this too. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty interesting story. It is a pretty interesting story. Yeah. But uh, there is a podcast that strictly just talks about this abduction. It's interesting. There you have it. Carry on. It's kind of fun knowing you don't have to go fast and you only have like one pace. Yeah. Oregon Trail yeah, grueling yeah. pace. It just lets you kind of sink into the what you're doing. Thing's huge. Looks like a dinosaur, like a T Rex head. You think it's because of the drought? We're just poking along, enjoying. We're, we have an idea where we're just gonna bed down and camp for the night, make some dinner, read some books, chill out. M&Ms are firing me up right now though. I am <laughs> spooled. We all adjusted now? Pizza? Is that even a real question? Alright. Welcome to the little town of Franconia, New Hampshire. I know, you're excited about pizza too. I know, I know.
is slow rolling right now, girl. This is steep. Buddy's working hard. This is a solid climb, man. Feels good though. And it really slows you down. Kind of see things you drive by or things you don't hear if you're in a car. All little sounds of the streams, the birds, the crickets. We just saw a gray fox run like right in front of us. Whew. All right, I can put this down on my breath. You want to tell everybody yeah. what you just tried to pull? Tell them what you did. Tell them why we stopped on the side of the tell road. Tell them why we stopped on the side of the road. Because I saw something on the side of the road and I tried to get out and get it. I saw a piece of food and I tried to jump out of the basket barreling down a hill. Good boy, I love you. Now you're locked in though. What do you think, O'Connor crew? I was just looking at my legs. They're pretty hairy. It's like well, Velcro. <laughs> that road is beautiful, I will say, but it is always nice to get off the road and just listen to things like that. Nice job, bro. Give me a high five. Yeah. That was like not easy, actually. Good job. Look at the sight. All right, let's set up camp. You having fun in your bike ride? Um, hey, no. You having fun in your bike ride? You're being a good, good, good little travel dog like you always are. Well, there's a saying that says adventure doesn't start until something goes wrong. Something went horribly <laughs> wrong. Something went horribly wrong. Do you want to explain what happened? So, this is a few days later. Back at the same site where the accident took place, I leaned down to turn the jet foil off for our morning coffee and it exploded right when I leaned down and now I have a third degree burn on my knee. Hence the... Um, hence the giant head. bulge. And that bulge is a pocket of fluid. Yes. It's lovely. So, um, later. to salvage our little bike packing trip that only lasted 25 hours, <laughs> we couldn't really live with ourselves if we didn't come back to this beautiful site and pick up all the trash that we saw. So that's what we're here doing. It's also, beautiful out, so I can't really run yeah. or anything. So this is what we're going to do instead. Yeah, we're just kind of taking it easy. Um, the other problem we had is our dog ate something that somebody left here, garbage or something, and he got really, really sick. He actually lost like his eyesight for a little bit, peed all over himself in the tent. He had he had some pretty bad problems. We're pretty concerned about him. <laughs> Mission ended soon. When that happened, when Nikki got burned, we had no car, you know, we were on our bikes and we're 22 miles from town. So in the morning, it was freezing cold. I like loaded up with whatever I had, rode back to town 22 miles to pick up the car to get her because she couldn't move her knee. She couldn't even ride her bike back. So. Yeah, shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> but we, uh, we've we been wanting to do this anyway, so we're gonna pick up the site and just try to do our part, I guess, and just treat this planet a little bit better. I should have gotten the bag out first. <laughs> <laughs> the human feces paper first, or the actual humongous landfill that's back here? Oh my God. Isn't that insane? <laughs> McDonald's, Big Mac in the water. I'm starting to think that humans are invasive species to this planet. Oh god. I like your chopsticks method. <laughs> well our site's picked up. We're gonna walk the road a little bit. I took like a month off from like making videos and stuff because I was trying to figure out like a direction to go or a, or a message that I, an underlying theme or message that I wanted to r relay and instead of just like people watching us just go have fun because it, it's the goal really the whole time has always been to inspire people to go outside and I think in that if you if you are inspired by going outside and then you're like you're just in awe of where you are in nature you know we're all more likely to uh, to pick it up and take care of it you know like it's our home it is our home 
it's these animals homes it's the trees homes and we need to really start uh, it's I, I sound preachy I don't want to sound preachy let's just do a better job even the best of us get hurt sometimes could be from life or love or don't know why it's all Yourself and don't ask why That's the art of getting by That's the art of getting by It gets easy to become blind to The good things when times are rough nothing left to try to it's okay to throw your hands up cause there's no use in getting burnt from the same lessons that you learned so carry them with you and be wiser even the best of us get hurt sometimes or love or don't know what It's all out of our hands Nobody will ever understand Don't blame yourself and don't ask why That's the art of getting by That's the art of getting by There's nothing to win and no way to cheat We all walk through flames, all get burned from the heat Yeah mm. Even the best of us get hurt sometimes Could be from life or love or don't That's the art of getting by Yeah, yeah